brand new Thursday and you know it's on cooldown as we waited for happenings happening on Wednesday to Thursday. Well, they happen earlier this time around. <laughs> like, whenever we decide to do this show, <laughs> they switch the days like, oh quick, man. Quick, quick, they, they, they changed the publishing date, put it, put it a day earlier. I know. It, it, was, it was like, okay, man, they announced this on Wednesday, but maybe they'll have more for Thursday. Yeah. Well, it's Thursday, so we're going to cover everything that has been updated on the 9.1.5 PTR, but a couple of interesting things. Rogue buffs, finally rogues are playing Night Fae. Well, we'll get to that. But first, the biggest thing I feel and uh, one of the things that people really waited for a long time is the actual Maw introductory quest line skip, baby. And uh, you know you, you know how it is, man. Uh, me, I have like now 10 alts that I had to go through all of that pain. I'm sure a lot of you did also. I cannot, uh, I cannot, I cannot know what flame. I think all of all of flames, I think I, uh, except the rogue. rogue. <laughs> yeah, everybody went through that shit. But there's still alt to be done and uh, go through 9.1.5. But this has been on the PTR. So if we if we look at uh, what they said over here, alternate characters on the account can now choose to skip the introductory Shadowlands quest line that takes place in the mall by speaking with uh, no speaking to High Inquisitor, White Mane, or Nazgrim after accepting the quest Shadowlands A Chilling Summons. Please note that to enable the skip, you'll need to have logged into a level 60 character who has completed the more introduction. So you need to have to go through it once. And the basically pain. the same criteria that they had for the Covenant intro skip, yep. where if you've done it on one, you can just skip it on all of them. Now it's the same with the, with the Maw, so that's actually pretty good. Yeah, I think one, one really cool note to add here is that if you, like, in 9.1.5, if you have a character that's already some somehow in the mall because you just got bored of it and you know hated it and got pissed off and said fuck it well for those who have already begun the introductory shadowlands quest line gina proudmore in the forlorn res forlorn forlorn <laughs> <laughs> cave, cave, uh, that cave, right? You know that cave. Yeah. Uh, uh, she will offer to skip the rest of the introduction after the quest of flight from darkness is completed and before leaving the cave. So that's also pretty good, right? They, they thought about I don't think they've they've done this before. It's like, oh, you you you've already started. I guess that's too bad. Tough luck. It's so good. it's 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 nice. It's, it's, it's pretty nice. good. It's a good addition. Uh, that being said, uh, we are a little bit excited to talk about a couple of new changes, tunings, and clash changes changes for um, the just an, uh, a, a, um, a hand of specs it's, it's it's tiny but i mean maybe ah. All right. Well, they've changed a couple of animations uh, well mo mostly the fluorescence for for druids and yeah. uh, they've target capped some some heals which as far as i know at least the monk chi burst was a little bit awkward in the way that it calculated its healing because it was always soft cap and i remember we doing the guides in Isle of and talking with the with the theory crafters that uh Essentially, it was something really weird, like when Chi Burst hits the target, it calculates the amount of targets around it, and then it distributes the healing, so it's a little bit of a weird last-minute math. So it's, it's, I guess it was about to be expected, uh, and I think Priest also got Divine Star and Halo, yep. also a target cap, which, I mean... Halo. Maybe it will help with uh, pull, pulling, uh, you know, because Halo had this issue sometimes where you just go beyond the radius and hit <laughs> a lot of things. Maybe it'll help with that. But, uh, yeah, let's but that's, that's like the damage part. Yeah, I, the, the healing part is fine. Okay, that they had to do this for the healers as well when yeah, talking about so. uh, the target capping and removing soft caps and stuff. Uh, it's not like too big, but you have to remember that uh, the halo talent has been reduced. Uh, the healing has been reduced by 20% as well. So I don't know if it was a pro pro problematic, if it was overhealing. I don't remember the priest community talking about, oh, how broken the halo talent is. Yeah, neither, neither. Uh, but uh, regardless, we can finally get to the rogues and boy so uh we have definitely seen that the rogues have not really been playing that much night Fae, at least you know in terms of like the numbers and stuff right i main a rogue and i basically play sub and assassination a little bit of outlaw as well and what happened was the big change to the legendary from night Fae, right so toxic onslaught now this is pretty cool uh in theory it is pretty cool so toxic onslaught has been say slightly redesigned when sepsis 
Aegis expires on your target, you are granted two of the following effects for 10 seconds. Shadow Blades, Adrenal Rush or Vendetta is applied to your target. Bonuses are those that are not available to your spec. Now, I've tested this on my Assassination Rogue and here's the thing. You pop your sepsis, right? It does its thing, it's damage over time or whatever. Then after that, for 10 seconds, I gained Shadow Blades, which it's basically shit, I cannot do anything with it. <laughs> On and ad Adrenaline Rush. Now, Adrenaline Rush is pretty good because you get like faster energy regen, you get your energy cap expanded and faster auto attacks. That in theory is pretty good. However, for a spec like Assassination, the whole package is pretty much shit. It cannot compare to the, the, the Ventir Dashing Scoundrel or Ventir Obedience. No fucking way. There's, there has to be, I think Whisper mentioned like 18% more damage to even compete with that. But on the other hand, for Sub Rogue, this can actually prove pretty useful. I mean, okay, Vendetta. So for Sub Rogue, you're gonna get Vendetta and uh, uh, Adrenaline Rush, right? Now, Vendetta obviously is a damage boost, first of all, but it also increases, you know, the, the bleeds and all, all of that. Now you have the Rupture, not a, the biggest damage for Sub Rogues, but it's an addition. I think one of the coolest things for, for Sub Rogues is actually the Adrenaline Rush, because you get a lot more energy to play around with, energy regen and faster auto attacks. And that paired up with Slice and Dice is really good. The shortest end, end, of, the, end of the stick is still for Outlaw, which uh, I've was seen it, up. Was gonna ask like, <laughs> what, 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 what is Outlaw gonna like, get? Like, they, they kind of, they don't benefit at all from this because you, they get Shadow Blades and Vendetta and they don't have like damage over time shit like bleeds or poisons. Okay, they, you can talk about poisons, but it's not really nothing for them. And <laughs> shadow damage, like there's, there's no way, like adding shadow damage for, from the shadow blades. So looking at the, the Ravenhold discard at the Outlaw boys is like, man, did they, they want to kill Outlaw at this point? Um, I would also like to touch, because I think some of the role com some of the people from the role community were, were excited to see this because in theory, it is looking pretty cool. So uh, one of the biggest issues with this legendary is its timing, right? You, you get this buff, uh, after the 10 seconds of sepsis and ideally you kind of want to pair up your sepsis with your main DPS cooldown, right? Like Shadow Dance and, and Symbols or uh, Vendetta, you know, uh, uh, Adrenaline Rush, all of that. Now you pop sepsis with that, you don't get the buff immediately. It would be really cool to have the buff like 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 that um, Torghast legendary power, uh, Torghast animal power, where you pop your cooldown and you also gain the benefit of uh, Journal Rush Vendetta. Well, blah, blah, you blah. say that, but this is really reminds me of the warrior legendary units of uh, Tormented Kings, where you pop one cooldown and you get the cooldown that's not. Uh, yeah, pretty much. Yeah, it's, so it's pretty it felt, much. It felt like they were kind of trying to take that, but the problem was that warrior that kind of works with all specs. Because uh, most of the time it's just either more crit or flat damage boost, while the roll cooldowns are very specific. It's shadow yeah. damage, it's yeah, energy it's, regen, it's, it's bleed. It, 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 you cannot really separate them. Again, I think the only winner, if you could say that, uh, from all, all of this is sub rogue. Although I don't see any sub rogues uh, switching to night fade pretty pretty early on. Um, it's it's still on the PTR. The numbers are not there yet. It's still this is basically out of PTR testing on target dummies, so it's not really relevant. We're talking about just in theory. But enough about that. You did mention the new animation for uh, Druids and Fluorescence, and I know you recorded some footage uh, over yeah. there. So on, uh, instead of showing this from all head, we're gonna have your ass over there yeah, on the so screen. I, I actually, so uh, they they pointed out you now have like a, like a transparent green flower type effect uh, on the uh, fluorescence, and uh, you can still have the mushroom if you want. It's gonna be a glyph in nine one five. I honestly, I mean, I kind of like the animation, but I don't know why they would change it. Like having like a like an actual mushroom there felt well, like better. It's probably too sexual. Moving along, let's get it on to the PvP class tuning because we have a couple of them there. So uh, first of all, for the covenants, right? Necrolord's Fleshcraft now absorbs 30% of the max uh, health while in PvP it was 40%. Uh, and when a battleground or arena begins, uh, any Fleshcraft absorb value exceeding 30% is reduced to equal 30% of max health. Now, a couple of PvP talents have also been addressed here. For Feral Druids, Strength of the Wild, that will increase Regrowth's initial healer crit chance on allies by 30%. It was 100%. Wow. Um, you know, Ferals were pretty known, uh, especially last season and this season too, uh, more or less, uh, for their really, really strong off heal capabilities, and this is well, this was one of them. Uh, okay, we got Guardian. Uh, Guardian Protection Radius significantly increased. Uh, 
Uh, I mean, this wow. is probably more for BGs. I don't know, I'm not thinking yeah. arenas here. And Resto, Keeper of the Grove, now protects the Druid from all harm while Tranquility is challenged. Uh, was prevents Tranquility from being interrupted. This is pretty nice, actually, because uh, uh, Tranquility is one of those cooldowns where if you wanted to use it in arenas, which you definitely should have, uh, but in this meta <laughs> where yeah, everything it's, happens- It's not gonna, it's, I mean, I'd, I've, I've, it's been so long since I've seen a wrestle drill in arenas. No, they're pretty honest. good. They're, they're up there. But um, I don't know if protects them from all harm also means interrupts. It doesn't sound uh, like it means interrupts. No, see, uh, so uh, CC's uh, interrupts were, were there. The, um, yeah. You could not interrupt him yeah, during yeah. tranquility, right? So that was already there. Uh, all harm, I think it also means uh, being damaged. Yeah, and I being, know. So uh, it's either like Bob or like Divine Shield. Something like that. If it's um, like Bob, it can be kicked. But if it's like Divine Shield, probably cannot be kicked. Yeah. Uh, well, that, that's the thing. Um, it can be kicked, but all harm, I think, implies that all. So it's like sort of like a full on bubble. You cannot do anything to him. That, that, while would, he be, that would be interesting, especially tranquility. in this meta. But again, like, can you afford to cast tranquility? Uh, I don't know, man. I don't know. I mean, if all of your hearts are rolling and, you know, everything seems Gucci for two seconds, maybe. <laughs> but other than that, um, now, the the star of the show for at least uh, this expa no, this season, this in both PvE yeah. and PvP, uh, Windwalker Monks. So, Dance of Chi I bet you all know those. <laughs> uh, Dance of Chi procs now cause your next spinning Cray Kick to deal 150% damage in PvP was 200%. Um, this feels kind of lackluster because oh, it's, it's <laughs> I mean, um, I, the problem initially uh, and the problem still is a bug with um, uh, br uh, the bone dust brew, yeah. which obviously they didn't fix. I don't think they didn't know about the bug. I think they just couldn't think find a way to- they don't know what to do with it. It's because yeah. it's here for so, such a long time. I, I obviously think, don't, honestly the think, dam think- The damage that spinning crane kick does is so stupid that I don't think 25% nerf is, is really, yeah. I mean, it's silly, man. You can look at some of what these windwalkers are doing. It's- Oh my God, you've seen the clips. It's one-shotting everything. And you can see him also in Mythic Plus. It's just ridiculous. I, I've seen people go from 100 to 1% to 100 to 100 to 1 to 0 <laughs> in like less than two globals. I know, I know. It's, it's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. I think more work needs to be done on that. And finally, let's go to the Shaman. Unleash Shield. The uh, uh, Earth Shield effect now roots target for four seconds, was three seconds. And the Lightning Shield effect uh, now knocks back enemies 30% faster. Uh, more roots for shamans. I mean, it's pretty this good. It's not a talent that I've seen people use too much. And Maybe. I didn't feel like I could use it as well because I play Risto Shaman in arenas. It's 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 on paper. It's really cool. Um, I I find it hard to see where it can fit in with the current uh, options that you have for Resto Shamans. But I guess you know buffing it is a good way to, to make uh, make it more enticing. That, and uh, maybe that's why they they changed yeah. it. You know, maybe we can try it sometime yeah. and see if it works. Especially against those melee mongos, uh, those paladins. Yeah, uh, but you know this kind of concludes it for the updates. Not not too much has been updated. I mean, basically there were things that were kind of already announced, except the the rogue changes. Uh, and implemented on the PTR, especially the, the Moss Kip thing. Yeah. Um, I'm thinking that they are actually working their asses off to push PTR builds and to, to have us test out a lot of the changes that were announced prior and prior and prior. Remember, 9.1.5 has a ton of them. Uh, we're just now scratching the surface with the, these latest updates. Now, we really want to know what you think about these updates, especially yep. you, you rogue players out there. I'm really curious on what you think about the, the new legendary uh, from uh, Night Fae. I think it's shit. <laughs> well, I know some but, rogues are playing Night Face, so who knows? Yeah, Maybe we'll, we'll give it a go. We'll see. I'm, I'm curious. I'm curious. Okay, not everybody goes for like the, the pure numbers and or anything. And I, I do want to mention this once again. The, the covenants for rogues are so close to each other in terms of numbers. Like you can go for this, whatever, right? You can get a slight edge if you play like the absolute best, like Venthyr, you know, for uh, rogues or whatever, for sub and uh, assassination, or uh, I think Necro for outlaw, that, that's fine. But the differences in damage really, at the end of the day, they're really minimal. So let us know what you think in the comments. It's been uh, a shorter week uh, of news. A little bit uneventful. Around. I mean, most of the stuff has been happening on the Diablo 2 scene, but uh, that's not yeah, that's a different here nor there. Game. 
Yeah. Um, but yeah, we're probably gonna have a lot more next week. I have a feeling that they're not gonna keep two weeks like, a little bit on the down low. Oh, yeah. There's so much more stuff that needs to be addressed in uh, yeah, yeah. BTR. I think so. You mentioned it uh, now that uh, with, I think about it, I thought maybe this was part of the plan to not really kill off the Diablo 2 hype because, you know, it would get people talking about That's, big that, major that, changes that, into WoW. That could be, that could be. I mean, I would be surprised if they yeah. can afford to do that. Nah, it's um, fine. We're gonna have yeah. a week of Diablo 2 and then boom, boom, bam, boom, big drops for the 9.1 for 1.1 for five updates, man. It's being so hard Hunter to say. Buff by 20%, let's go. <laughs> you know who never needs buffs? Our Patreons because they are buffed to 100% and we love y'all and thank you all you guys for all thank of you. the support. Thank you all you. Uh, that's how we speak. You know, it's really uh, early morning. Sorry. You know, it's been, a, it's been a tough week, okay? Coffee still needs but to be drinking. <laughs> Drunk. We, we are humbled and uh, very appreciative for you guys supporting the content. Uh, we're, uh, we're striving to do our best here and a lot of improvements hopefully have been uh, translated Obvious. into the videos yep, yep. and stuff. And hey, if you want to become a Patreon, go down below, click the Patreon link thingy because you might find <laughs> some, some cool stuff. And obviously we have a little Patreon group with Patreon meetings every month where we talk about all sorts of cool stuff on the channel. If you like our stuff, maybe that's something you want to be checking out. Yeah, and you have to go down below. That's very inappropriate, man. Oh, come on, shut up, man. Well, thank you for watching the video. Have a great uh, weekend and the rest of a week and uh, stay weekend tuned tomorrow. for more. Tomorrow, TLF, let's go. It's gonna be a special one. Yeah. <laughs> bye. Pretty cool, bye bye. I've been loving it then, I still love it now. Still, I play wild. Still, I play wild. Getting better every day, let me show you how. Cause still, I play wild. Still, I play wild. It's getting harder to stay, but at the end of the day, it's a guilty pleasure, so just log in and play. Whether it's classical retail, I'ma do a slash bow. Still, I play wild.